Hi, I'm Mark Gaylor for markgaylor.com and I'd like to take you through a Lightroom mobile workflow. I'm working on an iPad but the Android interface is pretty much the same. Okay, so um, we, we can be working on mobile phones, we can be working on tablets. You can see I've come into my organized space. This is where I have access to all of the photos uh, that are being um, uh, referenced by the app but also the collections underneath. Now if I come over to that LR letters in the top left hand corner this is going to open up the preferences perhaps the most useful one uh, for me is that top one there uh, I'm actually signed into my Creative Cloud account this basically means that uh, these collections and all of the images in these collections will be available on all of my devices whether they're mobile devices or desktop laptop computers I have a couple of options selected here, um, sync only over Wi-Fi, that's just to protect any mobile data plan that I might have. I prefer to work on the full resolution images there, I do like exporting 4K images to social media. I've got my auto add photos, this just makes sure that any photos I capture with the mobile device automatically appear in Lightroom photos, I won't have to go to the camera roll to find them. Uh, I've also got a show touches there. This is the reason you can see my little red dot as I touch the screen. Okay, so the first uh, important aspect of this workflow is just basically to organize your images. So we just click on that plus icon in the top right hand corner. Uh, this gives me the option to create a new collection. I'll call this one a pride. Uh, parade and I'm going to add some portraits that I captured at an event so I'll just select OK We'll see the Pride Parade um, uh, collection appears here, but we don't actually have any photos. I'll just tap on it uh, to enter uh, that collection. And then at the bottom of the screen, you'll see the Add Photos. And I'll add them from my Lightroom Photos. Okay, now you can add images that um, are actually on your desktop computer or laptop so long as you've signed in to your Creative Cloud account and you've synchronized that collection. Okay, now I'm just going to uh, scroll up to see if I can find these uh, images that I'm looking for and here they are. And uh, I can select them one at a time or you can just simply wipe to select all of those images and now all of those will be in my Pride Parade collection and I'll just click on the bottom of the screen add eight photos and uh, here are the photos a colorful bunch I have to say now at any time if we want to go in and edit one of those images we would just tap once and we'll come into that image if I wanted to share this with social media I just click on that little up arrow above the histogram now the clicking on the little wheels will give you options but I'm just going to hit the share okay and now I can choose to share a small size I'll just um, 2048 let's say this is going to Facebook it's just going to prepare that image and now it's going to pop up and I can simply click on Facebook um, and share that image from my Lightroom mobile uh, over to Facebook there and I'll just hit that cancel out there okay so um, if I um, hit the top left arrow uh, we're going to go back back into my uh, collection view. Now if I click the up arrow I'm going to get the option not only to um, share a single image but also share this entire collection. Now at the moment um, all of these images are private if I hit the option at the bottom, I'm going to make a public link. Basically, um, Lightroom Mobile is going to create a web page for me. Now I can share that link, and again, that's going to bring up options that I can message somebody or share the link on Facebook or mail it to somebody. Okay, alternatively, I can um, just share or view on web. This will actually show me the web page that people uh, will be coming into when I when they uh, receive that URL or link that I give them and if you are a Creative Cloud member uh, one of the advantages that you get when you're looking at these images is you can like an image I've just uh, tapped that little heart at the bottom and I can also tap a comment and so I can write in here colorful and uh, 
and then just hit the return enter key to submit that okay so now I'll be able to see that um, that like and the comment inside of my Lightroom mobile so let's just go back to uh, Lightroom mobile and uh, already you can see the little comment icon at the bottom of the screen uh, basically I liked my own image and made the comment that it is colorful and so you can quite quickly see this is a very useful uh, way of um, uh, both organizing and sharing your images via Lightroom mobile I'll just click that um, top left back arrow again and this will bring me back in into the organized space now there are a couple of options that we have if you just click on the little um, three dots next to your collection again you'll be given options here and one of the um, the useful options and I don't have time to go into them all but um, this one enable offline editing now if we want to edit these images maybe we're on a long flight and we want to do some editing I can uh, enable offline editing and this will download smart previews from Adobe's Creative Cloud hit the cancel there okay so that is an express tour through uh, Lightroom mobile okay so I'm Mark Ayler for markayler.com uh, thumbs up uh, share the information and I'll see you online next time